here I am. Good morning, or good afternoon, or good day, everyone. <laughs> How's everyone doing today? It's your friend Kayla here, and I am super, super excited for today's video because my order that I placed with Kylie Cosmetics a few days ago, containing three items, um, including this palette right here. I know this is not a new launch. This is the most recent, like, Halloween-themed palette, and I can't wait to dive into it. I did a review on it, an in-depth review on it yesterday, so if you guys want to watch that one first, I, I recommend that, so this way you, you could see how they swatch, and you could... I, go, I also um, compared how certain shades swatch compared to other shades and everything like that, so watch that one first and now watch this one right here so I am gonna recreate the iconic look that Kylie did in her photo shoot for this collection this look right here look how sick that is that is just sick it doesn't look too difficult to do I'm gonna keep it right right next to me standing up I'm using like um, a little travel makeup bag to hold it up on the couch so that I could like refer to it if I have to. So if you see me going like, 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 like this, because I need to refer to it so I don't fuck my, you know, so I don't mix. Yeah, I'm still waking up, guys. <laughs> but it doesn't look that hard. It is, it's a cut crease, and I have a special brush that. Is great for defining that line that is gonna go here and then like a little triangle across I just hope that I lined this up right I think I did it does I mean it's not gonna be perfect of course I'm gonna make them as perfectly as humanly possible um, but the brush that is gonna help us get that defined triangle shape is the Anastasia Beverly Hills number 12 brow and or define brush which we're going to be using. I prepped my eyes with my Fenty Pro Amplifying Eye Primer. I am going to set my eyes with the new NARS, I'm trying to read the thing, Soft Matte Advanced Perfecting Powder in the shade Cliff and I used it yesterday underneath my eyeshadow and it really helped lock in you know it really helped keep it there and set it all day long so I'm trying to get it open and like most NARS products that you that are like compact or pressed I'm trying to get it open and pain in the end so I'm going to take my refer number 27 brush and I'm going to take some powder and I'm going to set my eyes with it. I love this brush. I will, I love all of my brushes. I really do. Like, each one is special to me in its own way. Um, but I love my Ruffers and my, and my Sonya G. They're probably my favorite. And my Rose and Ben Beauty brushes are also my favorite. And... The owner and creator of Rose and Ben Beauty, she happens to be my like my literally my in my top five favorite YouTubers. So I love watching all her videos. She's just amazing. She's so talented. She's so sweet and kind. She's beautiful. She's so brilliant when it comes to creating looks. Okay, I'm just kind of blend. I'm just kind of blending it into the. Well, onto rather, onto the lid, so that we really have a good foundation, not foundation, foundation, but a good foundation to work with. Oops. This video is going to be slightly long. I know a lot of a lot of my videos are long, so if you guys feel the need to skip ahead, I don't mind. I'm not going to be mad. I'm still learning how to edit videos and trying to find trying to find the right or the the best rather um, video editing app. So if if you guys recommend like a specific video editing or like whatever it's called app, 
if, if you could drop it in the comment section below, I would greatly, greatly appreciate it because I feel bad that all my videos, not all of them, but the majority of my videos are kind of long compared to other YouTubers. Um, even if it's a look that is a little bit of a challenge to do or that's going to take more time to do. But um, I'm going to also, because this, is, this video is going to be a little long, I am going to partially label it, or title it rather, as a get ready with me because I'm, I'm going to be chatting along the way in this in this video. Um, and, what's the word? I love to talk. <laughs> I don't shut the fuck up sometimes. I'm just keeping it real and open with you guys. I do not shut the fuck up. I have, I have ADHD, which kind of sucks. But at the same time, I, I'm a talkative person to begin with. And I just chug the Red Bull to the face like it's a freaking tall boy. So, and it's 4.44 in the morning. So, we, we gotta get started. Um, so, here is the palette, of course. And yesterday I went over all the details of, you know, the packaging. So, if you guys want to want to see that, that's in the video that, that was uploaded. Not last night, but earlier yesterday evening. So, we have all these beautiful shades right here. And the first shade that, um, it, that, the first shade is obviously going to be our transition shade. And what, the shade that we want to use when creating a look like this with, the, with these specific shades is either going to be Face Your Fears or alive but dead and the reason I'm saying let's use alive but dead is because being that it has a light light beige hue to it because or, or a brown undertone rather because it's not really brown it's not really tan it's kind of like a creamy tan I guess but I'm also partially colorblind which actually never affects the way I do my makeup somehow I don't know but Anyway, <laughs> when we go to do the part where Kylie or her makeup artist, I'm not sure, who, who with um, when they created this look, when they took the shade Dream Demon and they went on this arch and made this triangular shape at the end where like the tail of it is. If you don't, if you don't, um, use a either, like, off, like a darker than ivory type of shade or color, it is going to turn pink. And I know that, um, th she is, she did use the shade Don't Fall Asleep, um, partially in this look. Um, but we want to make it as identical as possible. So that's what we're going to do. I am going to stay up, Victor. I need you to stay up. Stay up. Okay. What we're going to do, I'm going to take my, where is it? I'm going to take my Rose and Ben Beauty E29 blending brush. Um, and we're, um, we're going to go in with Alive But Dead first. Tap off the excess. That's going on really smoothly. We're off to a good start. Today, guys, at 11 a.m., I have an interview with Ulta at, at my at my local Ulta, which is only about what's maybe like a 13-minute drive from here, and I'm really excited. So even though this look is a bit bold, it's still wearable, and because it's obviously an interview at a makeup store, 
or a beauty store rather um i don't feel it's inappropriate to wear for an interview if if i was you know gonna be um going for an interview at you know like a upscale you know i don't know resort for you know whatever or something more um like business casual type of whatever you're, but you guys know like where i'm going with this then i would go for a different eyeshadow palette um because n not that i like this palette any less than i love i love all my 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 kylie palettes are very special to me as are my natasha denona and pat mcgrath palettes but if i needed a more toned down less wild look <laughs> i would have went for my um either my viseart um neutral palette the first one that came out um or i would have let's see let me just make sure that i have enough on here i think i do because we don't need that much we just need enough to wear the other shade is not going to turn pink, which is good. So you know, I'm going to add a tiny bit more in the crease, like that, just so it doesn't turn pink. I mean, pink is used in this look, so we might be fucked either way. But we're going to try. <laughs> we're going to hope for the best. I've had nothing but wonderful and amazing experiences with every single Kylie palette I have. And I have the bronze palette, the burgundy palette, not the OG ones, the one, the nine pan. I have the ten pan rectangular ones. I have the, of course, I have the full Batman collection, which is probably my, one of my favorite palettes by her so far. I have the, I have this one now, of course, obviously. I have the, hang on, I just want to look at the picture for just a, just a second to, all right, we're going to map out first the part where she makes the triangle because I, I want to make sure I do this part right. I just don't want to fuck it up. I really don't want to mess this up. I got to fix this just slightly, bring it down to right there, I think. I think, I mean, I, I, I don't want to, because the way I'm looking at the picture is, it's a little complicated, because it's not like it starts from the corner, the outer corner of the eye, and then it goes out, but it's more of, it looks like a, a lifted type of triangular shape. But even if it's not perfect, I'm going to try my best. So, be easy on me, okay? <laughs> because I'm going to do my best. I, I, I really am. Um, I think I, I think I got to bring this down a little bit, too, actually. I don't, I don't have to pull off the, the whole thing just enough to where it meets with the end of the brow. And... Here I have a little less brow hairs, but I can see and feel where it ends. So I think I line these up like almost perfectly symmetrically together. Is that even a word? Symmetrically. All right. So I'm gonna t first shade I'm, I'm gonna take is of course Dream D Demon, which swatched beautifully. Another shade that's swatched beautifully, really, really quick, guys, is Bad Dream, which is this shade right here, which is also used in this look, but it's used, like, kind of over here along the lash line, so it appears, but my printer isn't perfectly clear, so that's why I'm, it's going to be a bit of a challenge, and yeah, I need to vape before we do this, because I, I, <laughs> it's going to be stressful. We're gonna go we're gonna take dream demon with this brush 
and we're gonna all right we're gonna take we're gonna start right here guys and we're gonna bring it out okay that wasn't so scary We have that. Good, 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 good. Okay, I'm going to do the same on the other side. I'm, I'm going to map it out the tail of the triangle. Hang on. If you guys want to grab like a snack or something to drink, I recommend it because this is going to be a long video. Okay, so it's not going to be perfect. Like I said, I'm just... Okay. I'm just going to take this and take a little bit on the lower lash line. Not fully across, not even midway, just on the end, so that we can attach it later on. Oh, and don't fall asleep, it's going to get you. <laughs> I love making you guys laugh, I really do. Okay, now... Next, we're going to, this is going to be a bit of a hard part to do, because I don't know if this type of brush was used to do this part, but the brush that I do have that we are also going to be using to create this look, which seems a little bit difficult right now, is my spicy brush well I call it my spicy brush it's not, it's not really called a spicy brush Rose actually calls it a spicy brush but it's the Rosamund Beauty E27 and it really helps with cutting the crease and going like that so we're going to use this brush to connect the little hang on let me just tap, tap off some excess so we don't fuck up the look okay I'm going to look at the picture really quickly Okay, so we're going to start where it's completely lined up to where the inner corner is and right above it. So we're going to start right here. We're going to map it out. Grabbing a little more product. Okay. Now that we did that, this is where it gets a little tricky because I gotta take the brush right here. It wasn't so scary. Okay. A little more product. Yes, this looks good so far. I 
I actually have a video where I recreated the iconic Batman look. If you guys are interested in watching it, I highly recommend it. Okay. That wasn't too, too scary. We're going to do it again over here. Starting right here to line it up with the inner corner, which I think I went a little too far down, but that's okay. Let me grab some more product. Perfect. Okay, I just need a little more product. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Perfect. And I, okay, so this side looks a little bit better than this side. I have to hit my alarm, my five o'clock alarm is going off. I've got to hit snooze for a second, okay. Let me just fix this part right here. Alright, so the only thing I will say so far I've, that, I'm, that I noticed that I did on accident is that this is a little more lifted than right here, but we can actually, when we, I can actually just go over it gently with this brush and just go like that. Problem solved. I can make anything work so long as I take my time, I don't freak out and have a fucking panic attack over eye, and over, over eye shadow. And okay, so these are perf almost perfectly lined up between here and here. If I go like this with the brush, right? This is actually a helpful tool if you're a makeup artist, or even if you just do makeup just for the fuck of it. Perfect. It's lined up. Awesome. Alright, we're off to a good start. We are. That New York accent in me is coming out right now. Okay. Now. It looks like to define it more, I'm going to put this brush down for a second. I'm going to take, I'm going to pick this brush back up. To make it look more sharp, I'm going to take this brush again. And just go over it with the same shade.
Okay. Whew. <laughs> that was stressful. I, well, not, not, not that it was stressful. It's just... I really want this to look as identical to Kylie's as humanly possible. So that's why I'm taking my time with it. That's why I said, guys, grab something to drink. Whether it be a Red Bull, a cup of coffee, a tall boy, a shot of fucking, I don't know, Captain Morgan. Whatever you guys want to drink is fine with me. <laughs> so, and even though we already have the shape that we need for this look, just like I did, and I connected it to... We could technically remove these, but I'm not going to just in case there's fallout with the other shades. I'm going to keep this look looking as clean as possible. Okay. Now, as I'm looking at the picture, the sheets, we're going to cut the crease, which is going to be scary, honestly, because <laughs> I don't want to fuck this part up. I really, really don't. So what we're going to do is I'm going to clean off this brush. On my sweatpants but that's okay because it comes out in the wash so I'm not too worried about it Rose recommends that cut um, not only did we use this the same brush the 27 to do this part right here to map it out you know kind of carve out the look but she also recommends it for cutting the crease and because it's on it it's curved you know, the shape for this look, the outline. We're going to use this to cut the crease so that we don't interfere with this beautiful shape that we got going on already. Because then I'm going to, I'm going to be fucking pissed. So, I'm going to grab my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. Although I should probably use my NARS Soft Matte Concealer, but I haven't, I start, haven't been using, I, because I couldn't find it for months at a time. Whoops. I keep it in this little Mac bag right here. All right. Which one is this one? Light beige in. So this is the shade 22B light beige. We're gonna use this one. I have the palette on my lap, but that's okay. All right. Here we go. We're gonna take this. I'm not going to apply it like this because we need preciseness. That's, is that even a word? Preciseness? We need to be as precise as possible. Okay. Wait a minute, I'm looking at the picture, and for some reason... And if we have to, guys, we can always go back in with the, with Dream Demon again, with, you know, the red shade. If we have to. Okay, that wasn't so scary. I thought it was going to be scary, but it wasn't. We're not going to take this all the way to the outer, tri the tip of the triangle part because I noticed that it has, it's a little thicker than I made it. So we're going to need that little bit of space that I left. Okay. So far, guys, this is coming out pretty good, I have to say. At least I think so. But for my first attempt at this look, 
coming out pretty good. Now remember, we're not going to take this all the way to the end because we need to color it in a little bit. So I'm leaving some space. Okay. Okay. And like I said, after we finish doing this cut crease shit, we're going to um, go back uh, at, towards the end of this look. Which actually, we're not that far from being done, believe it or not. This look was easier than I thought. I, it just looks a bit involved. But it's actually not. I'm just cleaning off my brush really quick case we need it again, which we might. Just trying to get the concealer off the brush, which I think I got most of it off. Okay. I'm gonna put this brush down. I'm gonna put the shape tape away. Put it back in a little bag. I'll put it back here where it goes or where I keep it rather. Oh, I need to wait for a second. I apologize guys, but this helps with my anxiety. I have PTSD. I have panic disorder. I have ADHD. Like, what don't I have wrong with me, right? Except being a makeup artist, that's one of the few things I don't have wrong with me. Okay, now, the next shade she used is Don't Fall Asleep, which is this pinky kind of mauve rose shade right here. So I'm going to take my refer number 28 brush. And we're going to fill in all the, where I applied the concealer. We're going to fill this in with the shade. It might take a few minutes because I really want to pack it on there. And I want to make this look look as great as possible for my interview. Because the position is for either. They have, two, they have three like openings. Like they have... One's for an, a makeup artist, so I'm really trying to let that makeup artist and me show that I can create looks like this because they're going to be, you know, customers, you know, clients may want a simple neutral look to where other clients may want a bold dramatic look similar to this one. So I want to show them what I can do. And it's okay if the pink bleeds into the red just slightly because it kind of does in a way in the picture. I'm so thirsty right now. I might pause the video in like a minute when I'm finished co coloring this in. Or shading this in rather.
Okay, I just want to make sure that the pink is taken all the way to the outer, pretty much to the outer corner. In a way, I'm glad that this video, now that I think of it, is a bit on the long side because I'm being as precise as I fucking can. And when you guys watch this video, whether you just want to watch it for fun or you want to watch it to recreate the same look that I'm doing, you're going to need all these details. So it's a bit informative. So that's why this video is kind of long. But where I'm at in my makeup career, I, I used to feel even more frightened to do looks like this. When it, came, when it came to doing cut creases or half cut crease or whatever the fuck cut crease. Because let's be real, sometimes it's a bit out of one's comfort zone. This look actually is coming out really good. I mean, as good as it can get, pretty much, because it's hard to make it look exactly the same. But I watched a ton of other YouTubers' videos on this same look, and it looks pretty, pretty fucking close to theirs. And from, from the way that they did this look they used very similar brushes um were brushes that are the same shape as the ones that i'm using sorry that i'm like taking forever to color this in I just, and like I said, it's okay if the pink bleeds into the red a little bit because it's got, even though it's a precise, sharp kind of line, we're going to need to kind of buff out this anyway at the very end of this look, but I want to make sure, let me check my mirror. Ooh, this is coming out so fucking sick. Wow. Wow, 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 why I love this fucking look. It's harder to look into my phone. And after my interview, I'm going to walk around Ulta for a few minutes. Of course, I have to. <laughs> And I'm going to, um, see if I can get some more Kylie stuff to do another video on. I have been on the most, like, crazy Kylie binge lately. Because I didn't get into Kylie Cosmetics or Kylie Skin until quite recently. Not that I disliked anything, it just... Um, I was into other brands for a while, and I still love those other brands, don't get me wrong. Um, but I just really like everything that she creates. There's just something about it that really always catches me, stands out to me, special to me, and that I really just have such great experiences with everything. Okay. Now. Mm -hmm. 
I'm just looking at the picture for a moment, guys. I'm sorry. Okay. Why? Why does something look different? Okay. Now, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna put this brush down. Like, well, I'm gonna clean it off first a little bit. Like I said, it's not gonna be perfect, but. So far, it looks pretty fucking close. And my printer isn't as clear as I'd like it to be. Put this brush back in its home. I'm going to pause this for like two seconds. I just want to grab my, my uh, Red Bull. Give me two seconds. Hey, guys. Back. Sorry, I was so thirsty. So off camera, all I did was I went over where, uh, where here starts and it meets and connects here with the same shape, which was Dream Demon. Did the same thing over here and I colored in a little bit towards the tail and then I just went um here because this video is already 42 minutes and 25 seconds long so now it looks like she took dream demon which is this red raised bold freddy red right here and she it looks like she um went a little hang on I'm going to use the same brush, my Anastasia number 12 brush. Looks like she went like this. Hang on, sorry, sorry, I just have to put the brush down. Because I noticed there was a little bit of fallout. And since I, my, my makeup routine has changed a little bit over the last few weeks, then it, um, than it was as far as I, I used to do my foundation and my complexion products first and then do my eyes but now that I've been doing more complex advanced looks that are a little out out of my comfort zone but you don't know if you can do something until you actually do it and then you feel so proud of yourself and although this look isn't exact as Kylie's is you can tell that it's Definitely, most definitely inspired and recreated from that look. So I'm going to grab a little more of Bad Dream onto my brush and go like right. Although when I, <laughs> I don't know why I'm putting it here because I'm just kind of bleeding it into the, into the Dream Demon a little bit. Just a little bit. And then it looks like. Um, it looks like she took, let me see, it looks like Come to Freddy was used a little bit, um, over here as well, I think, I mean, e even if it's not exactly the same, it's okay, because it's it's a look that's being recreated it's not a look that's being done by the same makeup artist although i am one myself um so i'm gonna clean off my brush a little bit i'm gonna take come to freddy should i use the same brush or should i use a different brush just to be precise, I am going to use the same brush. I'm going to take Come to Freddy, and I'm going to put it, hang on, right here. Do 
that looks good. A little bit more. Okay, let me do some on the other side. Same brush. I'm also going to take this on the lower lash line. But not fully across. Same on this side. Connecting it to the triangle shape that we did. But as I said before, guys, I know this video is kind of fucking long. So if you guys want, grab something to drink just like I did. A Red Bull, a cup of coffee, a shot of espresso, 12 away, 5 o'clock somewhere, right? So whatever you guys want to drink or munch on, I suggest it because we are done yet. <laughs> and after I'm done with this look, I'm going to be doing my complexion products. I always put those in the eye. It didn't feel so great. Need a little bit more product. A little bit more over here. Okay. What I'm noticing is that uh, other than I had to fix something. Sorry, guys. Okay. Now, I think this look is pretty much. I mean, I still have to do my I my eyeliner, well, my eyeliner rather, my eyeliner in matte black in my waterline even though it doesn't look like she's wearing um eyeliner i'm gonna put add my own little twist to it and put because i have to wear eyeliner i have to in my waterline at all times so i'm gonna do that um and then i'm, I'm gonna pause the video i'm gonna actually i'm gonna do my should i do the eyeliner first or should i do my lashes first i'm thinking to do my lashes first so i'm gonna pause the video I'm going to clean off my brush, put the brush back where it goes, which is right there. I'm going to put down the palette. Um, actually, there's nowhere to put it to where it's going to stand up for a second, unfortunately. Unless I lean it up against something. That's how you do this. There we go. This should stay now. 
all right or not I was okay I do have my little Kylie blush era that I, I can use this is my favorite shade by the way winter kiss my favorite shade well my, my first favorite shade I have a few favorites and there's two that I'm ordering online within the next few weeks so I'm gonna pause the video put on some lashes which is gonna be one of these by kiss lash couture which i think would look pretty fucking sick for this look so i'm gonna do that and then i'm gonna show you guys how it looks i'm gonna hit pause again do my complexion products and then we will be done so i will be right back don't fall asleep guys remember freddy he's gonna get you he can get you don't fall asleep hey guys so this is the final eye look I'm going to pause the video one last time to do my complexion products. I'm really, really happy with how this came out. It came out pretty fucking sick. It may not look exactly like the picture, but I'm going to show you the picture again one last time. Because I tried my absolute hardest to do this. Now, this being my first time doing that exact look. I think I pulled it off pretty well. And it's really hard to make both eyes look exactly perfectly symmetrical. Even for um, even for um, a makeup artist, sometimes these things happen. But for the most part, you can definitely tell that it was inspired by that. Um, and I did um, read, I kind of more, um, went, in, went back in with the Anastasia number 12 brow and or define rather brush and I just colored in a little bit of the tail with that with dream demon and then I added come to freddy right here and attached it to the to where my black highliner starts in my waterline well I didn't put the brush in my waterline but you guys know I, I connected it so I hope you guys enjoyed this look I had a lot of fun doing it I'm going to pause the video put on my face makeup and then I'll be back to show you guys the complete final look and you'll see how it all pulls together really nicely I'll be right back love you guys hey guys so I, I did all my complexion products my bronzer my blush my highlighter I used my Amin Money and Hustle Baby Kilowatt highlighter by Fenty um over here and a little bit on my bridge of my nose and a little bit here and there well I, well, I went a little left with the highlight um and my favorite blush is winter well one of my favorite blushes by kylie cosmetics is winter kissed and baby on the block so i used winter kiss today for today's look i feel it balances out the pink eyeshadow and the red well burgundy but and for today's lippy i'm going to be using my um my kylie cosmetics course because they're my favorite lip products are from kylie cosmetics a lot of my favorite favorite everything almost is with kylie cosmetics um with the except, exception of just a few things but um i love i devour all makeup really um is i'm gonna go in with mary jo k to balance out the burgundy and to really give a nice bold lip look so i'm gonna go in with the mary jo k lip liner first
some days I like my bottom lip liner a little on the thicker side. For those of you who have sat through this whole video, I thank you so much because I know it's a long one. We're almost at an hour now. Okay, so this completes the final look. Everything balances out really well, I feel, between the burgundy, the bold red lip, the pink eyeshadow, the cut crease, everything. It looks really, really good, and I tried my absolute best. I literally poured my blood fucking sweat and tears into this look for today, and I hope you guys like it. I'm going to upload this video within the next hour or so. It should, be, it should be posted within the next hour and a half because it's a little bit long, so it might take a bit to upload. But anyway, if you have not yet subscribed, hit that subscribe button. You're not going to regret it, I promise you. And don't forget to hit that cute little, little notification bell so that you never miss any of the 5, 6, or 7 videos that I post every single week. It's between 5 and 7, but it's always 5 at the minimum um, amount of videos that I do upload and create. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the look and the video. I had a lot of fun with you guys today, and I love you guys so much. Thank you for all your support and your sweet comments and your likes and everything else. I love you guys, and I will see you guys later for another video, most likely tonight. If not tonight, then tomorrow morning, definitely. But I love you guys, and thank you for watching. Don't fall asleep. It's going to get you. Bye, guys. Love you.